Hey everyone, I am Chase, the Rocky Mountain HVMC, giving you a closer look at the lock-on grip selection from ODI. All right, everyone, today in this video, we're gonna walk you through and break down all the motorcycle and ATV lock-on grip options that we have from ODI. Well, there is a ton of grips that we offer at Rocky Mountain. If you're shopping for a new set of grips, chances are lock-on grips are probably on your radar. So we're gonna go through and talk about the features and benefits of a lock-on grip. Then I'm gonna talk about all these that are up here. I've used a lot of the grips that you see on the table just to help you make a decision on which grip you feel is gonna be best for you. Now, before we get started, I just wanna point out some of the features and benefits that I love about lock-on grips and why I use them. The first, ease of install. If you don't like to use grip glue, if you're tired of using safety wire, trying to remove those, well, lock-on grips are gonna make that easier for you. So what's cool is that the rubber grip is just molded to the plastic sleeve, both for the clutch side and for the throttle tube. So literally for the clutch side, you're just gonna slide the grip on, you have this plastic, or excuse me, this aluminum end sleeve, you're just gonna tighten that down, that tightens the grip and holds it in place. So very easy to install. I also love the durability factor. All these grips, they have a hard plastic or a hard end cap. So if you go down and crash, you just have something simple as a tip over, much less likely to tear and damage the grip. So for me, the durability, the longevity is definitely a perk that I really like. So now, let's talk about all the grips that are up here, help you make that decision. So first up, all the way over here to the right, this is the EMIG, this is the V2 EMIG lock-on. So this is one of the original Emma grips, been around for a very long time, it's been very popular. So what's cool about the Emma grip, they have a lot of different colorways. So depending on your bike color that you have, if you wanna match the grips to it, well, chances are they're gonna have a color that's gonna match your bike. But with the Emma grip, I'm just gonna show you here. This is a half waffle design. So you can see there, like I mentioned earlier, you've got the hard end cap, so the durability is really good. Couple things to know about the Emig lock on. So it's gonna use a little bit more of a firmer compound. So for me, I've used these grips before. A Little bit firm for my liking. It's still gonna be a comfortable grip. The durability on these is really good because it does use a little bit firmer compound. So if you're looking for a grip that's gonna have really good colorways and also have great durability with the rubber compound, then the original Emig is gonna be a really good option. Now from there, move over, you have the new V2 Emig Pro. So this is a brand new grip that they just recently released, Emig. You had a lot to do with the design of this. They took a pretty long time to get this grip out because they wanted to make sure it was perfect. And in my opinion, this is the grip that I currently have on my bike right now. Big improvement, much better in my opinion than the previous Emig, just for a couple reasons. So first up, they're using a softer rubber compound than the previous Emig grip. It's also gonna be a little bit thinner in diameter. So for riders that have smaller hands like myself, I like the thinner feel of this grip. Also, I love how the Emig logo, you can see it's got these ribs here that go the same direction as the grip. So that's actually gonna sit right in the palm of the rider's hand, very comfortable. You notice here too, not really a half off design, but you have these traction ribs here and these are actually undercut. So it's gonna give still a good amount of grip when you're pulling back on the throttle, but it's not gonna be as squishy as something like a, a half waffle. But I really do like these traction ribs. And when I talked about durability, that's something that you know ODI and these guys really put into emphasis with the new Emig Pro. So you actually have an aluminum end cap versus plastic on this grip. So the durability for me, is really hard to beat when it comes to this grip. Excellent durability, I've actually tested that. I had to get off a little while back, scratched up the end of the grip. It was a crash that normally would have probably ripped up any standard grip, but the grip is still intact, still good to go. Now there is one thing that's really important to know about the new Emig Pro lock-ons that I wanna point out is the end caps. There's a lot of riders that like to run full wraparound hand guards. Now with all the motorcycle grips up here, you're gonna be able to knock out those end caps fairly easy. They're designed to be knocked out so you can run full wraparounds, but with the Emig grip, they didn't design these to be ran with full wraparounds, more of just a motocross style grip. However, we have done it here at Rocky Mountain. Just know it does take a little bit of work to get that end cap knocked out. Not nearly as easy as the other motorcycle grips that are up here. So just keep that in mind. If you're gonna run full wraparound grips, definitely something to consider when you're looking at these Emig Pros. Moving on from there, you have the V2 half waffle lock-on. I like to call this the OG of the ODI lock-on grips because it's been around a very long time. So this is a half waffle design. You can see you've got a full diamond where you don't have that waffle pattern. It's gonna be a nice soft rubber compound. I would say that this and the Emig Pro I just showed you are about the same when it comes to the softness of the durometer. But a half waffle design, very popular. It's probably the most common waffle pattern that you see most pro riders using. So what's nice about the half waffle pattern is when the grip does get maybe a little bit wet, maybe get some mud on there, that half waffle is just gonna add a little bit of extra grip so it doesn't feel slippery in the rider's hands. So that's gonna be the V2 half waffle. You can see a lot of cool colorways to choose from. I do want to point out too that with this grip, first, 
The light gray and the white version use a softer rubber compound. So if you like a softer rubber, I would go with the light gray or the white. Also, for you ATV riders out there, they make a half waffle design of this grip for ATVs. So you can see it's actually just called the Rufian. But again, for ATV riders who want a half waffle, they have that available. Moving on to the middle, I'm really excited for this one. This is the latest grip in ODI's lock-on lineup. This is the full diamond. I've ridden the half waffle a lot, but I've always wished that they would come out the full diamond. For me personally, I just like the feel of a full diamond grip. I know there's a lot of riders out there that do. So this is all new from ODI. Again, they've got a lot of different colorways to choose from. Again, the white and the light gray are gonna be the softer compounds, just remember that. But what I like about the full diamond is it just has a thinner feel to it. I've actually compared these side by side with the Half Waffle and the Emic Pros. To me, this has the thinnest feel of all the grips that are on the table. So as a rider, if you like a thinner feel, this would definitely be the grip that I would recommend for you. And also again, for your ATV riders, you can see they make a full diamond version of this grip for ATVs as well. You can see the flange there was cut off. That's gonna be your thumb throttle side. So again, ATVs, full diamond. Moving to the left, we have the ODI Rogue. So the Rogue, this is also a grip that's been around a really long time. This grip is designed with comfort in mind. So you notice here, you've got these raised pads going all the way around the grip. They've also got some traction on there. So these raised pads are gonna really help when it comes to vibration absorption. So it's gonna be a little bit more forgiving on the rider's hands. But keep in mind, something that you wanna point out with the Rogue is that these are the largest diameter of all the grips that are up here on the table. So for riders that have large hands that want a grip that has a little bit larger diameter, this would be a really good option. So just something to be mindful of, but it is actually a really soft grip, and very comfortable when you grip this thing. And also, just like I mentioned with the Half Waffle, in the full diamond, the light gray in this grip, they don't make a white version, but the light gray does utilize a softer rubber compound. And again, for the ATV riders out there, they have the Rogue in an ATV version as well. Now, the last two grips that we're gonna show you are both gonna be ATV grips. The first one is going to be this Troy Design Signature Grip. So these guys teamed up with ODI. I actually wish they'd made this for motorcycles because I actually really like this grip. The rubber compound is nice and soft. It's got a nice thin feel to it. So if you compare it to say the Half Waffle V2, it's gonna have about the same diameter. Nice soft rubber compound, feels really good in the hand. But what I really like about this grip, you can see that the pattern on here is directional. And what I like about this is that when you're gripping this, feels good, but then when you start to pull back a little bit, let's say you're getting on that gas and you're really holding on, I feel like that directional pattern offers a lot of grip for the rider's hand. So I'm a big fan of that. You'll notice too that on both sides they have this flange. Well, that flange is just gonna offer a little bit of protection so your hand's not getting to that aluminum end cap on the end. So I do like those flanges that they have there. Again, so that's the Troy Design Signature Series. You can see a lot of cool colorways in that option. And last but not least, we have the Extreme Grip coming from ODI. So you can see you've got that diamond plate pattern on here. Pretty unique, it's got a nice thin feel to it. Nice soft rubber compound. They're just gonna have this available in two different colorways. But with this one, honestly, it's gonna be if you really just like the look of that diamond plate pattern. So it's just kind of a unique look to it. Again, soft rubber compound, nice thin feel to it. So pretty cool grip. So again, if you like the styling of that diamond plate, well, then that's gonna be a good grip for you. And there they are. Those are all the lock-on grips that we offer from ODI for motorcycles and ATVs. Remember, I've used just about every grip that is up here on the table. So if you'd like some of my personal feedback, we'll leave your questions or comments below and we will get those answered. To pick up your next grip, it is very simple. Just click on the link or head over to RockyMountainATVMC.com. Remember, this ain't all of it. We got a lot of other great grips that you can choose from. We even have a grip buyer's guide where we go through and we talk about the different styles of grips that are out there, the different compounds that are available, just to give you a good starting point if you're not quite sure what type of grip you feel is gonna be best for you. Get subscribed to our YouTube channel if you like this video. That way you stay up to date on the latest gear guides, product reviews, and how-to videos that we're constantly filming. I'm Chase, we'll see you on the trails.